In this video, we'll share a few awesome ideas to prank your friends with. Combine DIYs, fun, and smiles. Is your friend a perfectionist? Her notes are always in order. Let's make a little mess to make her nervous. Spare no effort to draw over her notes. Make big and small circles. That's it! She's shocked, unaware what's going on. It's time to tell her the truth. The pen has special disappearing ink. Look, the notes are just as neat as they used to be. She smiled and started to use it herself. You can prank your friends with this magic pen and they won't be angry with you. But be careful, don't mistake it for the ordinary pen. They look just the same. Now it's my turn to prank. I've got something special. That's for you. Try to be serious and don't laugh at once. Hmm, something's wrong with it. The ice cream looks real, but it's not edible. It smells good, but I don't recommend eating it. So what's inside it? Put some cornstarch in a bowl. Pour some shampoo. Mix well. Perfect! We've got a smooth and soft mixture. It's of ice cream consistency. That's just what we wanted. Take a waffle cone. It'll be real. Shape a ball and put it in the cone. Press over to attach. Done! The ice cream looks tempting. You'll never say it's fake. I wish I could eat it. Use fruit flavored shampoo to add a delicious smell. It's a good idea to play a trick on your friends. The score is still one to one. I should change it. Can I take your ruler? Sure. Something wrong? It seems the ruler's been stuck. Bad luck. Slightly move it with your hand to unstick and attach to something else. What's wrong with it? It's as easy as winking. We'll need clear double-sided tape. Attach it to the downside of the ruler. Take off the protecting cover. It looks as usual. Try how it works. Cool, the ruler has been stuck to the surface. The tape tightly holds it in place. What happens if you keep spending time on your phone making countless selfies, checking the news lines, posting or talking to someone without stop? No good. Your real friends are getting bored and offended. As a result, they'll put your phone out of order. You only need to leave it for 10 minutes. It's easy. Take off the back cover, remove the battery. Cut out a small piece of tape. Attach it to the battery contact. Set the battery back. Put the back cover on and place the phone where it was. You are about to get online, check your mail, post a new photo, send a few messages, but nothing happens. The phone was in order a few minutes ago, but now it's not. It was fully charged, but now you cannot turn it on. You keep trying to get the power on and off, but it doesn't help. The screen remains absolutely dark. When you are close to despair, your friend sees that's enough. She shows you the piece of tape that caused the blackout. Try to restrain yourself. Don't be too emotional to express your anger. I hate it when someone takes my water bottle without asking. It's really annoying. What should I do? Bingo! I'll get back by salting the water. Add some fine salt in the bottle. Put on the cap and shake well to let the salt dissolve. You won't need to wait long. Just take the bottle out of your bag and let it go. Now you can be sure your friend will never take your water without asking. He or she would rather bring their own bottle. To make a pen with a secret is another way to teach manners. Let's make a peppered pen. It's a great way to get out of chewing on pens. Make the peppered top. Take a cow horn pepper and snip off the end. Spread it over the pen top. Behave as if nothing's happened. Watch the reaction. It's good luck for you if you have the salted water at hand. 
demand mixture. Be ready for revenge. Your friend will hardly leave it unpaid. She cuts up a clove of garlic, spreads it over the pen, and now you need to write something down. You take the pen in hand. Phew! What an awful smell. It's disgusting. The garlic smell is all over. You've never imagined a pen could be garlic flavored. Okay, let's invent something weird to get back. Give her an eraser that cannot erase. It will take her some time to realize it's a prank. Cover the eraser with clear nail polish to make it absolutely useless. It still looks like the ordinary one, but it won't work. Oh, my eraser's missing. She's given it back, but the color is a bit strange. I'll try to erase. Oh no! What is it? The drawing is spoiled. I cannot recover it. What was it? A highlighter marker has turned the eraser into a pink horror. Apply the color to the eraser. It looks like an ordinary pencil with an eraser, but erasing with it can make you furious. What's that in your hands? A lipstick? On a pencil? I don't know what to say. I must know how to make it. If your favorite lipstick broke down, you've got a chance to save it. We'll place it instead of the eraser. Take it out. Use an awl. Cut out some tape. Attach to the end of the metal part to make a bigger container. Heat a spoon over a candle. Put in the lipstick. Pour the melted lipstick into the new container. Let it cool and remove the tape. Correct the shape with a craft knife. We've got a magic pencil. One end is for making notes and the other is for applying the lipstick. I need to sharpen my pencil. Where's the sharpener? Oh, here it is. It doesn't work. Quite strange. It looks like new. What's wrong with it? I rotate the pencil to sharpen, but nothing happens. Aha, someone's worked on it and now it's out of order. If you apply some hot glue to the blade, the sharpener will stop sharpening. But if you remove the dry glue, it'll start to sharpen again. And finally, let's make an edible EOS from chewy sweets like Starburst, Chew It's, or Frutella. We'll need three to four candies. Remove the wrapping. Take one yellow and two pink candies. Knead them in your hands. They are pliable, just like modeling clay or dough. Stick to the EOS base. Press well. Screw the cap on. It's a quick and easy way to get the EOS balm shape. Remove the excess. Correct the shape. Done! You can cover the candy with sugar. Thus, the empty EOS container becomes an original package for the chewing candy. We wish we could care for our lips with this lovely sweet. Still, it looks unusual and delicious. What are you listening to? I've been listening to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The narrator, Eddie Redman, starred as the fictitious author, Newt Scamander, in the movie. Audible has an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original shows, news, comedy, and more. I have teamed up with Audible and they are offering everyone watching this video a chance to try them out free for 30 days. Just go to audible.com slash Troom. Sign up for a free trial and download a title free and start listening. It's that easy. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring. Did you like the pranks? We hope you didn't find the jokes too evil. Smile and spend some more time with your friends. Subscribe with your friends to Troom Troom and enjoy watching new videos together.